It's the Breakfast Club with Sean and Meredith at about 7.47 in the morning, and we're joined by Jeremy. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you, man? Pretty good. How are you? Good. Go Pull that microphone nice and close to you. Don't be All afraid right. of it. Um, you're here with your dad, who is just going to snap pictures. The whole time, right? You know, Probably. Am I, I'm going to like stop talking, you know, I'm going to like... And pose. So proud. <laughs> we were so excited to hear that you yes. were coming back. It was like a definite, like, come in, come in, let's talk about this. You got a day off from, from school. What school grade are you in now? Uh, I'm in 10th grade. Wow. It's crazy, right? It's amazing. You're just getting You do, up. like, so much older. It's You're crazy. growing up right before our eyes, Jeremy. That's what I said to I'm Chad. Proud. I go, Jeremy's coming in every year, and he's going to be like, Hi, I'm Jeremy. Right. How, how <laughs> you guys doing? That's going to happen probably next year. I know. Oh, it's we'll already see. started. Um, so... Uh, Jeremy, you have been doing Hatsgiving for how long? Uh, this is the sixth year that Hatsgiving has happened. Six years. So how old were you when you started it? Uh, the idea came to me when I was nine and it started the year after. Okay, perfect. So let's talk about, for those who, uh, don't know, what is Hatsgiving? Hatsgiving was a project that I came up with, as I said, when I was nine, Mm -hmm. because I'd shaved my head for a few years and I realized how cold that my head got. And I thought that I was always lucky because my mom always made me a nice hat. So that got me thinking about the kids undergoing chemotherapy because they lose their hair to treatment. So that's when I decided that I had to do more. And that's when we decided on hats. If so, you know, if you got a big, thick head of hair, you're not as cold is what right. you're saying. Yeah. But, uh, that's so- actually very, very, very thoughtful. And you went through it yourself in the sense that you shaved your head. Why? Uh, to raise awareness and money for pediatric cancer. Amazing. Which is amazing in itself. Right, that you but did then that, you, and but, then you learned something from right. that. Right. You, you thought about this, and you went, boy, this this is a need, and I'm going to fill it. How has the response been from, say, you know, hospitals or, or, you know, where you're sending these hats when you get them? Hospitals are always really excited to get the hats, and now we're able to ship them to... 15 different pediatric centers in 14 different states. Oh, oh my goodness. And we're hoping to be able to put even more smiles on more faces. So you are, um, what, now collecting hats or what's the deal? Uh, Yeah, we are collecting hats and you can see the location site or the drop-off sites at hatsgiving.org. Now, obviously, what what kind of hats are we talking about here? Are we talking about, you know, uh, knit hats for winter or any kind of hat? I mean, can it can it be a sombrero? Is that okay? Um, <laughs> as much as I think a sombrero would be funny, be the, cool. uh, it could be fun. I mean, but the is original it idea, <laughs> yeah, the original idea was nice and warm winter hats. Right. Yes, because it is a long, cold yeah. winter up here in the Northeast and beyond. So and sombreros are hard to ship, right? Yeah, that'd be. A rather large box. <laughs> really large right. Box. Try to keep them nice and so, stuffed in there. So you want hats. You want new hats, right? Uh, yes. And some new, people do crochet warm. and they... Yeah, it can be store-bought those. or handmade. I think that's great. Just not worn new. by anybody. New. Because yeah. you don't want to have to worry about stuff like that, right? Correct. So a new hat, a knit hat, something like that. How many How many hats do you are you finding that you're getting each year? Obviously, probably more each year. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's probably grown hard every to... <laughs> year. Our first year, we got 226 hats with mm. only one uh, collection site. And last year, with a lot more than that, we were able to get t- over 2,800. Oh, wow. my gosh. So wow. it's so grown wanna, a lot. We want to even beat it more. So where can people drop the hats off? People can drop the hats off at Recovery Grills and Sunmarks and... Even schools and local businesses, businesses contact us asking how they can start their own collection, and everybody listening can too. Uh, you can contact us on our website at hasgiving.org. I was going to say, you're a smart young man. You must have a website. You have, you a, have Facebook, a Facebook page, you have a Facebook too. Facebook page, yep. too. I saw. So if I go to Facebook, I put in Hatsgiving, it's going to come up? Like yep. It and All right. It and well, then that's it. perfect, and then I can find out what places I can go and, and, and donate these hats. And So what's your goal for this year? And, and when does the, when does it end? Where, you know, where you... Uh, it ends at Thanksgiving. Okay. And the goal is really just to help as many kids as we can. Love this kid. He's all the right answers. <laughs> like, if you've been coached up here, right? come on. But maybe over 2,800. <laughs> no, you got a, get... you got a great heart and you're doing Amazing. a good job as, like, CEO of this uh, this new venture. I know he's even mm-hmm. got, you know, the apparel. I yeah. like that. Make sure you get it on your uh, your college resume. Because you're, you're only a couple of years away from that. You still going to come in and talk to us when you're in college? 
I'll try. Okay. I'll, I'll try. <laughs> uh, thank you. Jeremy, appreciate it so much. Has giving. Thank Make you. sure you check it out. Um, we'll put a link up on our Breakfast Absolutely. Club page as well. This is- 